Good day to all. Welcome to Sri Krishna Stories. Let's hear what today's story is about. Everything is performed by Sri Krishna. I don't have anything special on my own, said Radha Rani. A simple story to explain. Let's learn more. Sri Krishna was lying down gracefully. He was not sleeping, but he was pretending to be asleep. Thinking that he was sleeping, Garuda and Krishna's hand wheel were speaking something on one side. Sri Krishna was listening to their conversation with a smile. While caressing its slender feathers with its sharp beak, Garuda said with pride, Veel, you know that Lord Tirumal is the one who came here as Sri Krishna, right? That's why I am waiting here because he may need my help any time. During Gajendra Moksha, was it possible for him to kill the crocodile without my help? As they say, speed of wind is speed of mind. I took Tirumal to the location. Instantly he thought about it. After hearing this, the wheel laughed loudly while circling. Even if you took him fastly, without me, how could he kill the crocodile? He killed it by throwing me right. My help for Tirumal is more prouder than your help. Sri Krishna smiled within himself. I was the one who gave power to them. In that case, how much of arrogance they are having? They provided me with help. In between that, there was a murmuring of ladies. So Sri Krishna diverted his focus to the side of the voices. The ones who are speaking are his queens. Sri Krishna married us because he was attracted to our beauty. There is no such beautiful lady in the world that could match us, said a woman. That's true, but it's also true that I am more beautiful than you, right? said another woman. The prideful speech of the queens about their beauty brought the smile on Krishna's face. What is the use of beautiful look? Their heart should be beautiful, right? Who could have a heart like my Radha? Why are they having too much of pride? During Ramavadara, how powerful my devotee Hanuman was. But how modest he was. He is immortal. He is still alive, right? Let's destroy the pride of Garuda, Veel and Queens at the same time. Sri Krishna woke up. Garuda, he called with love. Garuda flew quickly and stood quietly before him. In Gubera's lake, in mountain named Kandamadana Parvada, it is the season of rare lotus named Saukandika Kamalam to bloom. It has the most attractive smell. Will you go and get some flowers for my queens? You are most powerful, right? You can face any kind of obstacle. You can only fly faster, right? Garuda couldn't endure his pride after hearing Sri Krishna praising him. He flew in the sky saying, I will return with the flowers in the speed of lightning. But Garuda doesn't know that in that place, the modest Hanuman was chanting Ramanama. Hanuman was shocked to see Garuda picking the flowers with the help of his beak while flying here and there. Who are you? These flowers are for Gubera. Did you get permission from him to pick them? Asked Hanuman. Hey old monkey, do you know who I am? I am the Garuda of Sri Krishna, the king of Dwaraka. I am picking these flowers for him. I don't need anyone's permission to do service for Sri Krishna. After hearing Garuda's prideful speech, Hanuman got angry. Then he suddenly surged forward and caught Garuda and kept it in his one hand while climbing to Dwaraka. Hanuman's growl made Dwaraka to vibrate. Who is the one having these pride-filled Garuda as servant? After hearing his growl, Sri Krishna asked the wheel, During Gajendra Moksha, you gave me hands. Can't you fight with the monkey and save Garuda? Now, look what I do to the monkey. Immediately saying this, wheel went forward. The next second, Hanuman caught the wheel and kept it in another hand. Who is the owner of these arrogant servants? He growled. Queen started to shiver, thinking what will happen if the monkey entered the palace and went to Sri Krishna seeking help. They prayed him to tackle the monkey. Sri Krishna said with smile, My dear ones, the monkey that came is none other than the devotee of Lord Rama, Hanuman. No one can overpower him. But if Lord Rama and Goddess Sita come and tell him directly, he would get bounded. So I will turn as Rama. Among you, the most beautiful one may shift as Sita. Sita is beautiful not only by her appearance but also by her heart. The one among you having a beautiful heart, pray. You will get into Sita's farm. All of the queens closed their eyes and prayed, but no one could turn as Sita. Sri Krishna asked to bring Radha. 
After Radha came, he told her about the problem. Radha sat, closing her eyes and joining her hands. Everything is performed by Sri Krishna. I don't have anything special on my own. Sri Krishna is the one doing everything. Let him turn me into Sita with his blessings. Prayed Radha loudly. The queens were stunned after hearing the miraculous prayer and stood there removing all their arrogance. At that moment, Radha became Sita. Who is the king of these arrogant servants? Saying this, Hanuman entered the palace and stunned after seeing Lord Rama and Goddess Sita. Lord, you are the one who is ruling Dwaraga? He worshipped them with devotion. His today's Rama is today's Krishna, said Krishna while smiling. Leave those servants of mine in your hands. Their pride has been demolished from today. As you say, Lord, said Hanuman, releasing Garuda and wheel from his grip. The one who is doing service for God should not have arrogance, said Hanuman and jumped in the sky and disappeared saying Sri Rama Jayam. Sri Krishna who turned into Rama and Radha who turned into Sita shifted to their old form. We subsided, said Garuda and the wheel bowing. When the queens of Sri Krishna bowed to Radha saying we too learned humility. Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanam.